let's talk about the My Little Pony movie. My wife and I opted out of seeing Blade Runner 2049 because of the length and we were kind of tired. So we decided to see My Little Pony instead. I have no kids. I'm 26 years old. I have not seen a single thing of My Little Pony. Why am I seeing this movie in the first place? My Little Pony is about the ponies that live in their little pony town and Tempest Shadow, voiced by Emily Blunt, comes to steal the powers from the ponies and they have to go to a location to find something that can help them stop Tempest Shadow from stealing their powers. Look, I know I'm not the target audience for this movie and I really have no clue why I went and saw this movie in the first place, but I did. And it's not as bad as I thought it would be. I thought this movie would be like the worst film I've ever seen. It's just for kids and for them to have fun. But I did find some entertaining moments in this movie and that's Michael Pena's character. He played this little creature that was interested in eating a lot and he added a lot of energy to his role. That's probably like the only good thing in this movie. And some of the music is okay. There is a lot of it. There is a lot of music. And some of it, it's pretty good. Some of it's sang by Sia towards the end. They have some pretty good music from her. But my biggest issue with this film is that it is very, very predictable. And it's very cliched to the point where I could tell everything that was going to happen from probably within the first five, ten minutes of this movie. The storyline is very simple and it's been done so many times before. And it's not trying to embrace it or change it up a little. They are attacked. They have to go somewhere to find something that will help them. They meet someone along the way that will help them, but he's also doing it for his own good to gain something and then they realize and then they get mad and then he helps them out at the end. There are so many things in here that I've seen before and it felt so darn predictable. Even the character by Ty Diggs felt very predictable. Everything I knew was going to happen happened and I pinpointed it right at that very moment. That's how predictable this movie is. And as I was watching this movie, I was trying to have the viewpoint of a child who loved My Little Pony. And so watching this film, I did find that this movie had a lack of energy for a good amount of the film. Towards the end, they have like this battle sequence where they're trying to fight Tempest Shadow and it's all fun and good. But for most of the film, there is that lack of energy and the only thing that could really be upbeat for these kids is definitely that musical moments, which there is a lot. So there is that lack of storyline and that lack of energy for this film. And it's for this film and they're overshadowing it with those musical moments. When there is no musical moments and there's just dialogue and their adventure, it is very boring. I do find some moments at the end a little fun, but for a little part, for a good half of the film, I did find it to be completely boring and there was nothing that really kept my interest. I know I'm not interested in ponies, but as a, but I was trying to watch it from a viewpoint of a kid and I, and even the kids weren't really having it for a good part of the film. And then the end, it picked up, there was that adventure, some good music. So it did end nicely, but it did start really rough. I know I'm not the target audience. I know this isn't my kind of film. I went and saw it anyways, because we wanted to see a movie. So we saw My Little Pony, the movie, and I had some fun with it. Michael Pena did, did Michael Pena was the only character that stood out for me. Everybody else was just kind of boring. The film lacked some energy. It was very predictable. The music numbers, the musical numbers were pretty good, but I'm gonna go ahead and give My Little Pony the movie a C. Still don't know why I checked this movie out, but I will check out Blade Runner 2049 and The Mountain Between Us sometime this weekend and hopefully get a review out for you guys. Make sure to check out my new Funko Friday giveaway. I uploaded that video. I'm giving away a Remus Lumpen where he's a werewolf from the Prisoner of Azkaban movie. Check out the link down below if you want to enter that contest. You guys are the best as always. This is Just Watch Movies and you stay classy YouTube.